Okay, this is going to be a brief video just to show you how you can make one of these nice little desktop fans here. And what I did is I had an old microwave oven laying around that I could not get parts for to fix. So what you do is you take the cooling fan out of the microwave oven. Those cooling fans are excellent fans to make a little desktop fan just like this one here. Now in order to make this you're going to need a suitable housing. In this case this is about three and a half by one and five eighths thick by about five inches from top to bottom. You're going to need a single pole double throw switch that's rated 125 volts and you're also going to need a piece of aluminum or some other material that you could glue to the back of the box so it stays in a nice position just like that. Now this fan I use right on my desk next to my computer. Now I designed it that there's two settings. There's a low and a high. Right now put it to low which is down. Now it's very quiet on low and the airflow is very good on low. If it gets really hot you can lift the switch up for high. Then no matter how hot it is, if you're sitting next to this, you will not be hot. It works incredible. So now let's put it back to low. That's running on low right now and the middle is off. Now I'm going to explain how this is made. I'm going to pull the fan off the front to show you what the housing looks like. Let's grab the blade. Pull it off. Okay. So what I did, I took this housing that you see right here and I drilled a quarter inch hole for the shaft to go through. This is all done using unibits so I get a nice clean hole. Now the reason for all these extra holes is for cooling purposes. I drilled a couple on this side. There's a few on the side here. There's a few there you can see. A couple on that side that match. And two larger ones in the back. And you have to have that. You want to be able to cool that motor as the fan's running. Now as the fan turns, it'll be pushing air forward towards me, towards the camera. And it's going to be drawing air in from the back. So you can have a, a vacuum behind the blade and pressure in front. So it's going to want to suck air through these holes and draw the air in through the sides and through the back. So you'll have a cooling effect for that motor. That's necessary. You have to have that. Not so much for low speed, but they are mandatory for high speed. So just make sure you have adequate airflow around the electric motor. So once you have this housing, you're going to drill a hole in one spot, put your single pole double throw 125 volt rated switch. The middle position is off, down would be low, up would be high. The motor gets bolted to the back cover. And then this bracket here I made out of some scrap aluminum bonded to the plastic with E6000. So now you got a nice angle for the fan and it won't try and move away. Now I will open it and show you what I did on the inside. I've had many fans. This fan is the best fan I've ever had. The cooling on it is incredible. And it draws 13 watts on low and 39 or 40 on high. Alright, so the cover came off. Okay, so this is the motor. Right here is the switch. And it's hard to see, but right down there where I'm pointing, that shiny spot is right there. That is a 1 amp axial fuse. The power coming in from the 120 volts flows through the axial fuse and then into the center pin of the single pole double throw switch. The lower part of the switch, when the pin, so when the switch is in the up position, the middle pin and the lower pin will be connected together. The bottom pin will be connected to the motor of the fan, so that's high power. When it's on low power, the switch will go down and the top pin will be connected to the center pin and power will then feed through a 3 microfarad 250 volt capacitor and the other side of the capacitor will then connect to the electric motor. What that does, it acts like a resistor without the heat. 
and it limits the current and therefore you get a lower speed. You cannot ask for a better fan and I don't care how hot it gets out or how humid if this fan is located within two or three feet of you on a desk even on low you will not be hot. Now you want to be careful when you remove this in the microwave oven take a pair of insulated pliers pull off the blade connectors from the fan and then don't touch anything else in the microwave just unbolt this from the microwave take it out and throw the microwave away.